But now Chris is in his 30s. He still has the same level of rigour and intellectual curiosity, but the difference is now that Chris can count to numbers that are more than the fingers on both hands. And just look at how he's using this finely honed faculty to build his arguments. Because here's the thing, it doesn't actually add up at all, really. We're drilling at depths of 30,000 feet, even 40,000 feet in some places. But yet the deepest the fossil has ever been found is 16,000 feet. Chris claims that because we drill oil at 9,000 metres and fossils only go down to 5,000, oil can't come from fossils. While it's true that very few fossils are found below 5 kilometres, it's not because life never existed in those strata, it's because past a certain depth, rock, temperatures and pressures destroy the delicate biological material. Shells and bones get crushed, melted or chemically altered beyond recognition. And those rocks, nine kilometres down, often they're made of ancient sediments, layers that were once deposited near the surface, but if you add some tectonic compression, subsidence and thermal maturation, and eventually those fossil-rich shallow seabeds could be buried deep underground. There's no mystery here, and there's no conspiracy. This is generally how geology works. 